shout out to a new listener, Ryan. 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 He has texted me multiple times and said, hey, just wanted to make sure I haven't missed the new episode. Oh, okay. You haven't, Ryan. You're listening to it right now. Yeah, this is the new episode. Yeah. Happy 2024 year of the taco. Oh my gosh. And the people are so excited. Yeah. I was talking to someone yesterday who's already had nine tacos. Yes. Yeah. I have had five. I believe I'm at seven. Yeah. This is going to be a breeze. It's going to be so easy. Yeah. We did get a little bit of pushback from our friend Dallin. Which shocks me because Dallin is our biggest supporter. <sighs> and he was like, there's no way I'm going to do this. I had nine tacos last year. Which, like, what are you doing? Who? Dallin? Which Dallin? Your Dallin. Had nine tacos That's last year? That's what he year? said. He doesn't think he had more than nine tacos last year. What is he doing? I don't know. Like, no shade down, but be better. Like, nine tacos Yeah, is minimal. Yeah, like I say, I've already had seven. <laughs> Like, I, I don't know anybody who eats one taco in a sitting. Like, you just don't. Well, I do when I get, because I go to Taco Bell and I get a box. Yes. And it comes with yes. one taco. That's valid. Yeah. But who else? I know. What is going on? Which There's speaking, great tacos in Utah, too. There's so many types of tacos. You, you can yeah. have tacos at home. You can do a taco truck. Yeah. You can go to a Mexican re- can restaurant. You can go to Taco Bell. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Honestly, go get a taco 12 pack at Taco Bell for 10 bucks. Seriously. That's 12 tacos in one sitting, and you can eat 12 tacos. They're, They're not that small. Yeah. yeah. Which, speaking of, we've had a lot of questions about the ta- year of the taco rules. How do we have questions about that? <laughs> I, I feel <laughs> like we made it as simple as possible. Yeah. But then I said, I've started telling people rules, and maybe we're not on the same page. Okay. So I thought I'd check. All right. My thought is the word taco yeah. has to be in the name of the item. Okay. Because a gordita, sure. cheesy gordita, has a taco shell in it, but that's not a taco. That's a gordita. Okay, see, and I I have kind of had similar thoughts, uh-huh. but I want, you know, I I was actually thinking we could debate this. Okay, let's do it. Next week. Oh, next week. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. As okay. our first debate, debate club segment. Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah, yeah. we're going to start debating. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? <laughs> Because me and DJ love making sure people think we're right. <laughs> yeah. So I thought we could debate. Okay. What is a taco? Okay. Next week. Okay. Let's is do- a chalupa a taco? Is a gordita a taco? Do you guys notice that all of our things are Taco, taco Bell? Bell. <laughs> you might have to Google what these items are if you don't it's go. Pretty, it's pretty easy outside of Taco Bell. Like nowhere else is serving up yeah. like a semi-taco. Yeah. And I have a stance on... Um, Soft taco versus burrito. So we'll bring that up as well. You have a stance? Yeah. What's the difference? What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about get this into next it. week. Okay. But for the time being, yeah. if it's a taco, it's a taco. I agree. Don't make it more complicated. I know. This and one it, is way easier. Like, I get the donuts because there's like those tiny donuts. Yeah. We had to clarify those don't count. We get pigs in a blanket could be confusing. Right. But we try to make it as simple as possible. This one is super simple. And also, just eat a taco. Like, it's not that hard. Just eat a taco. Eat a taco. If Like, honestly, we said street tacos count. Street tacos are pretty small. So tiny. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Mini tacos. We didn't bring those up, but honestly. Oh, I thought we said those didn't count. Oh, if we've said that, then that's yeah, fine. Yeah, I think, yeah, I they think don't we count. said specifically mini yeah. tacos don't count. Okay, that's the only rule, guys. Yeah, that's Get over yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Down, eat more tacos. <laughs> Seriously. Like, honestly, like, what is the downside of eating more tacos? I don't know. Like, it's not like, and I, I say this. Who in the world has a diet where eating more tacos, where replacing what you're currently eating with tacos is going to make your diet worse? Nobody's eating that well. No. None of our listeners are. (laughs) Also, like, a taco can be as healthy as you want it to be. That's true, too. The tacos DJ and I eat are not healthy. No, but if you did, let's say you did a taco, you did some uh, cauliflower rice, Mm -hmm. mm -hmm, some uh, lettuce, lettuce, and tomato, guacamole. Yeah. Mm. We didn't say there had to be meat or cheese or sour cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just got to be in a tortilla, which yeah. I get. That's some carbs. If you're keto, I get it. Guess what? They sell 90 calorie <laughs> tortillas if you're really that pressed for it. But no, but nobody, of, none of our listeners are keto. And if so, why? <laughs> Let us know. We'll bring you on the pod and bring it up. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, also, I think this yeah. is our first like gluten intolerant friendly challenge. I guess hot dogs, like not gluten, not just gluten, like but like the first year with hot dogs, sure, vegetarians, vegans, out, oh, no luck, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last year, gluten free, 
We, right. It's very hard to have a gluten-free donut. So yeah. this is the one that's like the most inclusive. Because can you have corn? Is corn gluten-free? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. So corn, yeah. I, I don't know what's gluten-free. There's, it's I not assume, flour. I assume if it's yummy, <laughs> it, it contains gluten. <laughs> the other day we walked into a, the Munch and Mingle at church and we could tell there was fresh baked cookies. And I was like, they didn't think of the gluten-free people because mm. you could smell the gluten. Yeah. And then they ended up doing it. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. Way to go. Dude, I made lots of gluten yesterday. What'd you make? Uh, so, uh, fried dough. And then just fried dough. Yeah. Just like fried dough. You know, you just put jam on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. thought you just were eating fried dough, which no, is fine. No. Well, yeah, but with jam. You know how to make dough? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not that hard. <laughs> My mom sent me a recipe. I just oh, okay. did it. Yeah. Anyway. And then, uh, with the leftovers, cause it made a huge batch. We made, uh, they were supposed to be, um, breadsticks but they turned into like mini baguettes oh i did see a picture of those oh <laughs> on be real oh okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 they turned out pretty good but yeah lots of gluten yesterday i will say when i walked into this house today it smelled like bread smelled yeah yeasty yeah oh yeah smelled like baked goods mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. uh let me ask you something else yeah 2024 you're the beret <laughs> has not happened yet no, no chance okay how are we at mocktails uh i believe i'm also at seven mocktails wow okay oh, yeah. Lauren got me for Christmas a mocktail box that comes oh. monthly. Oh, that's fun. Uh, yeah, super fun. So I have three different varieties of fake alcohol in the Okay. House. Yeah, super fun. Better or worse than the one you tried? Better. Okay. Better. Okay. Turns out anything's better than fake tequila. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So you have fake... Fake bourbon. Okay. And fake... I don't. I don't know if the other one has like a specific... Kind. It's like a raspberry distilled alcohol. Okay. So anyway. Hmm. Yeah. Super fun. What's been your favorite one so far? Um, there was this one we did yesterday that was like the fake bourbon with some ginger and cran apple. So it was oh. like kind of bitter, but like, like sour. It was more like okay. sour and like burned your throat because oh. of the ginger. Yeah. Super yummy. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Super yummy. Way to go. Yeah. So I'm like keeping note. This is like good, good practice with the boxes. I'm like keeping mm-hmm. note what I like. And then I'll buy it myself and oh, become smart. a mixologist. Look at you go. Yeah, yeah, um, I've had some questions about our taco kickoff party. Oh, taco kickoff party? February? February. Yeah. yeah. The end of January is coming quick. Yeah, January is right <laughs> around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. But keep listening. Yeah. Definitely February. I would say second half of February. Mm-hmm. Will be year of the taco kickoff party. By which point, I will probably be about halfway through the <laughs> challenge. We won't need the party anymore. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, for those of you in the DMV, mm-hmm. listen up. Or Dallin, if you really don't think you'll be able to get your taco count, yeah, fly, fly out for it. Out, fly it out. Put we, your money where your mouth is. Yeah, yeah. Put your mouth where where the tacos are. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's a good slogan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put your money where the tacos are. That's what I always say. <laughs> Um, any, any updates from the holidays? How were your holidays? Good. Calm. Good. Relaxed. Good. Yeah. What more could you ask for? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, not that bad weather wise. This past week we got Dude, snow. we got twice. pounded. Yeah. Yeah. It was, and it's not, it wasn't fun snow. No. Cause it was just like icy and cold. Yeah. 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 It was freezing. And now DJ has a house that he has to shovel a walkway. Yeah. And a driveway that like, if we so don't get steep. shoveled. Yeah. <laughs> like Lauren on Sunday was trying to go up. And her car was sliding backwards. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, it's bad. It's one of the steepest driveways I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, it's not super long. Like, True. if you, you just, just gun it. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you just kind of have to. It was a little too slick. Like, it even because it was weird. Like, they plowed like three houses down from us on the right and three houses down from us on the left. But, like, right in front of our house was all icy. Oh. So it was even hard to, like, get to gunning. Yeah. So, anyway. But it was warmish today, so okay. the rest were melting. melted. Yeah, sweetest thing ever. So it first snowed for the first time last Monday. I hear I worked from home. Sure. The next day, which was Tuesday, and my roommate, who's a school teacher, also worked from home. And I hear her downstairs in the kitchen. Yeah, she makes some ruckus sometimes. We love you, Jess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I could hear someone shoveling outside. Our sweet neighbor. Who's like a boy our age, Aww. never interacted with him, shoveled our whole walkway. Super sweet. Such a sweet guy. <laughs> we dropped off chocolates later to say thank you. Oh, Yeah. That's super nice. I call him the frat boy because I don't know anything about him. Yeah. And he has Does a lot he of live al- alone? No, there's two of them. Okay. And they have a lot of alcohol in their window. Sure. But What else would you 
you know? Yeah. I'll soon have lots of fake That's alcohol true. in my window. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, I was like, what a good guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's cool. it. That's all I want right. to tell yeah, you. Yeah, no, Sweet good, boy. Good, yeah. If you ever listen to this podcast, I'm talking about you. Yeah. 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 I think uh, all the youth in my ward got tired of me asking, what'd you do this four-day weekend? Because mm. they had a four-day weekend. Mm-hmm. They were like, I don't know. Whatever I wanted. Played in the snow. <laughs> They're like, leave me alone. Yeah. Like, why do you care about what I do during my day? You know? <laughs> and DJ's like, I'm Creepy just looking for man. friends. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just here. I need to converse with somebody. <laughs> I don't know what else you guys do. True. Yeah. I know you make TikTok dance videos. That's about it. Oh my gosh, are you going to be in any of them? I don't. I don't know. Maybe someday. <laughs> you same, should ask. Same by me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're like the type of leader that they'd be like, "Yeah, come on in." Like that'd be fun. Yeah. I or mean, maybe you're too young. Okay, so get this. Last mm-hmm. week we were playing pickleball for the activity. For church. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, there's me and one of the other leaders is bald. They started calling us the Vanilla Milk Duds. <laughs> I mean, pretty clever. It is clever. I I didn't want to give them the satisfaction. I was like, you can do better. Yeah. But they couldn't. That was really good. But they like, tried. But you went home and wrote it down. You're like, oh, that's <laughs> pretty good. I'm going to call me and my dad that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Should I get into pickleball? Dude, pickleball's the I've best. I've never played. Dude, so we played last week, right? And one of the other leaders was like, like, had never played before. And he was like, that was really fun. Like, yeah. I think I'm going to get into it. I've never met someone. That's not true. I've met very few people who, after playing it, like... And actually playing it, yeah. like giving it a shot, having just loved it. Okay. Yeah. Do you and Lauren want to teach me? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. And in fact, we've been looking for a fourth for, um, we go with a friend who needs a fourth. Oh, okay. You know her. Oh, okay. I just don't want to, you know, call her out. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's, who's the third? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Perfect. So, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go. Okay. Um, yeah, any other updates? No. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay. Life's great. Yeah, good. Yeah. You uh, you got a rant for me? Oh, you don't? Oh. No, I'll come up with one. Just give me one oh, okay, second. Okay, okay, okay. This will be cut. Oh. Oh, great. My that rant. Was quick. So, my sweetie boy neighbor yeah. shoveled our walkway. Yeah. And then, my cool, amazing roommate, she shoveled us out, like our parking spots out. Oh, wow. I brushed off the cars, and then she like shoveled behind us so we could get out. Okay. I left, and people came and took the spots that we shoveled out, mm. which is just frustrating because I live in a sure, townhome sure. community, so we don't have we only have one reserved spot. Mm-hmm. And I get that you're looking for a place to park, but if you're not willing to shovel out your own spot, right. don't steal someone else's hard yeah. work. I, just as frustrating. I, I like kind of agree. Yeah. You know, most of the time I think I'd be like, you know, snooze, you lose. But like, I don't know. Like, that just feels like common courtesy. You know? And it's like the spot right in front of our house yeah. that we park in all the time. All the time. And so I'm like, you were parked somewhere else and probably moved your car because this one was shoveled yeah. down. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, so as I was thinking about what I wanted to rant and recommend, mm-hmm. uh, turns out most of the things were... Um, uh, award show related. Oh, so okay. my I have an awards theme. Oh, love it. My rant is on beef. <laughs> the show? The show. Oh, okay. Beef on Haven't Netflix. Seen it. It's fine. Okay. But it won a ton of awards. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing. Ali Wong is genuinely fantastic. Mm-hmm. Like totally deserved to mm-hmm. have won Best Actress. But like the show itself I did not feel like what okay. it was so weird. Okay. So anyway, and it probably I probably would have liked it better had it not won all these awards. But mm. I like watched it because it won so many awards and I was like, What? Yeah. So anyway. I've had that with previous shows where it's like I was indifferent to it, but now everyone cares about it and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 My wreck is also a show. Okay. Which I texted you about called Still Up on Apple TV. Oh, you did text me about that. It's only one season and like eight or nine episodes, but it's Apple TV, so you don't have to worry about ads. Right. You know, it's It's like well produced. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about two friends who have insomnia, and it just like follows them throughout the night as they're like on FaceTime with one another. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been meaning to watch it. You should give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. My Mm wreck. The bear. Good. So good. I've only gotten partway through season one because it's one of those shows you have to like pay attention to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good. It's good. Yeah. We like, I mean, one of, because it's like, it's, it's, this isn't spoiling anything. It's uh, about a restaurant. Mm-hmm. And one of the things, right, like high, high, uh, like 
highly rated chefs like in the kitchen they're like yes chef no chef mm-hmm. you know they're always like anyway so now in the house when i'm cooking lauren will say something like yes chef <laughs> It's been Cute. really fun. But yes, great show. Mm-hmm. It's not a comedy. No, it's intense. It, it Yeah, it, but it's winning awards for comedies. Yeah. Uh, but don't go in and expecting a comedy. It's not a comedy, but it is very, very, very good. Okay. Yeah. And from the episodes I've seen, every character is endearing. They, they, they at least become endearing. Yeah. There's one where you're like, ugh. Yeah. And then like, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And in season two, they all, it's great. Okay. Anyway, yeah. I'll continue watching it then. I, I would pause for a little bit. That. Yeah. Okay, my random question is... <laughs> why are you laughing? Because <laughs> I'm coming up with it as, as I look at you. Um, you can only have one candy for the rest of your life. Oh, freak. Oh. I mean, what immediately comes to mind, it's between two for sure. It's can between... I, can I guess what I think it's between? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some Reese's variation. Okay. And a Haribo cherry. Okay, Haribo cherry was uh-huh. correct. And Reese's, it's a peanut M M&M and M is the other one. Okay, not peanut butter, peanut. Peanut. Okay, they're because they're like I get it. They're so good. They are good. It's probably the Haribo cherry because those are like the only candy that I like crave. Mm-hmm. I'm like I need mm-hmm. this right now. Yeah, but like I don't always want a Haribo cherry. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what would yours be? Um, I would probably say. A blue raspberry Jolly Rancher, maybe? Really? Not just... I, I mean, I feel like you could say Jolly Ranchers. You're like blue I, raspberry. I am rarely going to pick a Jolly Rancher that's not if blue raspberry. If it's not blue raspberry. But the thing is, I love to go back and forth between fruity and chocolate candy. Not but, necessarily in like the same city. Sure, sure. But I can't... There are people who only like chocolate candy yeah. and only like fruit, and I'm not that I'm way. getting that way. I used to be like exclusively fruity. Yeah. But like... I don't know. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> TJ used to be exclusively fruity, everyone. <laughs> but, like, lately I've been craving chocolate from time to time. Like, yeah. I'll go into the gas station on a road trip and I'll be like, I need chocolate. I don't want Or you fruit. need one of each because you don't know. Yeah. 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 So, great question. Thanks. Um, my question. You're famous. Mm. Which of the major awards would mm. you most like to win? Hmm. I think an Oscar. I feel the same way. I think it's the one that holds like the most weight. I agree. To be honest, I agree. Me and my sister are obsessed with EGOT winners. Sure, sure. I think it's so interesting, yeah. and like the people who have won, e- who are EGOTs, you're like, wait, really? Yeah. And there's other ones that you're like, how have you not done that yet? I know, freaking but, Lynn. I know, freaking. How did Billie Eilish beat Lynn Manuel Miranda? Is she an EGOT? No, but she won the year where he could have gotten oh, his Oscar. He could have gotten it. Okay. She beat him because she wrote the Bond song. Mm. The year that he wrote Dos Oruguitas. <laughs> Which is DJ's favorite. It's amazing. Yeah. I was watching I was just on YouTube the other day. It came to my algorithm. They did like a live performance of all the the Encanto songs. Yeah, I think we watched that live together. I didn't. Did you watch that? We watched the, the, yes, that show together. Oh, Encanto, yes. No, we watched the award show. No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, sorry. They did, no, 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 What? They did at the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, like, oh, oh. a special performance of all of the okay. Encanto songs. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, during the, just the first one, like, Familia Mariba, you know, uh-huh. I was like, tearing up. <laughs> I love that movie so much. You do. I've seen it once and never again. Oh, it's so good. Here's my, I actually have a follow-up question because I thought of this while I was asking uh-huh. the question. What award do you think you're most likely to win someday? Mm. I think maybe an Emmy. An Emmy? You think you'd be on TV? I just think that's more realistic mm, for me because sure. I c- there's so many like subsets of Emmys that don't matter. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> that like there's so many, I don't know. Yeah. I just think there's so many options. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's probably either I mean, I think like the honest to goodness most likely is like the Grammys start doing like a podcast award mm, mm-hmm. and that would be like obviously the most likely. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I don't know, like a, a kid's choice award yeah. maybe. Yeah. A teen choice something. Yeah. 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 Another rant about 
award shows. Dude, give it to me. Ryan Gosling has not received nearly enough awards for his... I agree. I looked him up the other day. He's been nominated over 100 times, and he's won like 20. Yeah. And that includes all like the small ones. Right. He's never won an Academy Award, an Oscar, or an Emmy. Yeah, you won't hear me complaining. I, I Meaning disagreeing agree yeah. i agree he's an amazing actor i'm like how did you not win anything yeah i mean i get it for like ken yeah like that's not an award-winning no but like la la land la la land um lars and the real girl dj Belknap. did you finally watch I it i finally watched it, it like it's amazing it's amazing i am so mad at myself for <laughs> never watching it at first, I was like, this is so weird. It and is. it makes you so uncomfortable. It does. But it is the most wholesome. It is. Sweet. If anyone's like turned off by the premise, yeah. power through. Yeah. Literally 30 minutes in, you'll be like, oh, wait. No, and that's a great way because I often just say, like, it's amazing. Like, yeah. you do need to be told it's about a guy who buys a sex doll, but it is so wholesome. Yeah. There's nothing weird about no. it. No. I mean, there is, but yes. like in a sweet way. Yes. Yeah. And like the whole town. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's so good. So I'm so good. glad you finally yeah, watched it. Finally watched it. So great. Yeah. Okay. If you haven't, Lars and the Real Girl. <laughs> it's literally streaming on like every platform for yeah, free. It's amazing. So yeah, the fact that he hasn't won anything. No. No. He's and that was the movie that did it, right? Like before I was like, Oh, he's just a hot guy. Yeah. But that movie was like, No, he's a great actor who's Seriously. also hot. <laughs> <laughs> did you just always been exclusively fruity? <laughs> <laughs> I again I watched Remember the Titans over recently? Sure. I didn't even give him an award for that. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, he's great. I love Has him. Has he won supporting? No. He hasn't not, even won supporting. Not actor. for any of the major the ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all like Screen Actors Guild or like yeah. Critics Choice that you're like, okay, but no one really cares. Yeah, it's funny. Like, you know, Critics Choice, that should be pretty prestigious, but yeah. like, it's no, not. it's Oscars. Yeah. Oscars. Um, you know what I was thinking about, though? Hmm. While we're just on, I prefer. The I think the Golden Globes is like the funnest one to watch, really? even though it's like not very prestigious. Mm-hmm. It's like super fun. I feel like they've expanded more. Like I feel like growing up, it was like Oscars, Emmys, Grammys, mm-hmm. and now more people are watching the Golden Globes and more people are watching just other side ones. And I'm like, oh, interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I feel like the like the CMAs, the Country Music Awards, are oh, like yeah. huge now. Everyone watches them. Now. Yeah, yeah. And I grew up watching like the Kids' Choice and Teens' Choice Awards. I yeah, liked those. I feel like I watched those too. Yeah. I can't remember. Uh, didn't uh, new topic? Mm-hmm. Well, sort of. Didn't Travis Kelsey win te- he, Teen Choice? He Award probably this did. Yeah. And did you see last night? Jason, Jason Kelsey, Kelsey shirtless yeah. at the game. And then he picked up that there was a girl in the stands who was like six or seven, probably that had a sign that said, I love Taylor Swift. So when he climbed out of the, he climbed out of the press box, yeah, wherever he was, that. he picked her up and turned her around so that Taylor Swift in the box could see her holding the poster. No, he's honest. Like, he said, honest let, to he goodness. was like, let me pick you up. So Taylor Swift can see this. I say this with no irony, Jason Kelsey for president. Like, <laughs> Honest to goodness. He's so great. He is a man of the people. Yeah. He went, he, cause he got to the game early. He went to the Buffalo side, right? Mm-hmm. Like, so the other team, yeah. he was there for the Chiefs, went to the Buffalo side of the game and did a bowling ball shot. Ugh. Like, he's just, he's just every man. I know. And then there was this on this Instagram poll, it was like, who do you want to sit next to at a football game? Yeah. And it was like Taylor Swift. Or, and I'm like, I love Taylor Swift, but I would sit by Jason Kelsey. Oh, yeah. Well, and I, like, last night, cause, we saw like the meme of him with his shirt off, and then realized, oh, the game's still on. Mm-hmm. And like, so we flipped it on, and they kept showing him, and I was like, oh, I would much rather see him than Taylor. Yeah. I don't care about Taylor Swift being in a football game. Jason Kelsey? He's so fun. All day, every day. Yeah. Yeah. And like, just things that he's done recently, like when he went and visited his, he gave a jersey to his favorite Amazing. drive-thru worker. There is a like, reason he was the man of the year. Yeah. Person of the year. Sorry. Yeah. Person of the year. Person of the year. Yeah, yeah. Who happens so, to be a man. But. He supposedly said he doesn't know if he's retiring or not. I don't believe that. I think he just wants to do it well. Yeah. yeah. I think he didn't like that it came out yeah. the way that it did. I think he's going to do it postseason. But, yeah. he, I mean, if you watch the doc, it was like he the last barely year we came had, back this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. And especially because they didn't have a great season. Then, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Great start. And then yeah. just. Yeah. So. But we are big Kelsey supporters over oh here. Oh, my gosh. Especially Jason and Mama. Yeah. Love And Travis. Kylie. Who's Kylie? Jason's wife. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, don't know her name. Yeah. Oh, she's incredible. She's the best. She is. Yeah. yeah. Big Kelsey fam. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> if you guys want to come on the pod, we yeah. We'll should just... we do a crossover episode? Yeah, <laughs> we'll, come we'll be on, on New guys, Heights. Honestly, you should tell them you're from Ohio. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. That would yeah, probably yeah. be a selling point. Honestly, <laughs> guys, I you grew up in Ohio. I grew up in Ohio. Yes. How old is Travis? Thirty two, thirty five. So we were probably in high school, maybe at the same time. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you were probably in the young men's program together. <laughs> He was 18, you were 12. <laughs> but yeah, we love the Kelseys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Kelsey supporters here. And I'm, I would be excited to see what Jason does after he retires. Because I, I don't think he'll just like quietly go home. Like they'd obviously keep the podcast. Right, right. But I wouldn't be shocked if he went into like coaching or some sort of other public figure. Yeah. Thing. I wonder if, I mean, I, I, what, I wonder how many networks are going to actively try to get him. Mm-hmm. He is beloved yeah. and hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. And he has said that when he's been on some of those shows that he's like, it's fun just to sit there and comment. And yeah, so yeah. Yeah. It'll be a Roy Kent type situation mm-hmm, mm-hmm. where he goes and tries to be a yeah. commentator yeah, for a yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. Anything Great catch else up. we need to talk about in um, current events? Um, How do you feel about Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner? I couldn't care less. Okay. Yeah, Did you yeah. see Wonka? I didn't like Wonka. Oh, yeah, wow. I'm alone in that. Why? It just didn't. So, first of all, the story does not jive with the story of Wonka. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Second of all, it didn't feel like Wonka. This guy oh. was like. Too normal? Yeah. Yeah. Unabashedly kind and loving, not like. Unhinged. Weird and may potentially murderous, yeah. right? Like. Yeah. I don't know. It just didn't feel true to the character of Wonka to okay. me. Okay. Yeah. That's valid. Yeah. You loved it. I didn't love it, oh, but yeah, I was yeah. like, it was fun. Yeah, and I yeah. was like, I think it's the perfect movie for like a 10 year old. Absolutely. Like, great. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know how often I'd rewatch it, but I enjoyed it while yeah. I watched it. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, and I, I don't mean to just skip, but the other thing, the songs aren't memorable. Mm-hmm. Right. And like, if you're doing a musical, yeah. you got to create songs that people are singing. The I didn't after. know it was a musical until I sat down. Ah. And I was like, oh, oh here yeah. we are. Yeah. But I just, I'm like, what do him and Kylie Jenner talk about? What it's like to be hot? I, I guess, know. but yeah. is he hot? I don't think so. You don't think he's hot? I thought he was like, no. objectively, no. every woman in America thought he was hot. He's really it's kind of scary sometimes. Like, he's mm. just like so sickly looking. <laughs> like, he's just so thin. And <laughs> I recently, I'm having a Ryan Gosling-esque moment where as I watch interviews of him, I'm like, oh, you're entertaining. Like, Timothy Chalamet can be funny. Oh, my gosh. On SNL? Yes. He's amazing. And especially when he's doing interviews with Keegan-Michael Key. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Those funny. were very funny. Yeah. But I don't think he's cute. Yeah. I think I think he will go on to be one of the five-time hosts of SNL. He's really? so good at yeah. it. Yeah. He's pretty good at it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you seen Mean Girls? Not yet. I really, really want to. Oh, you do? Of course I do. National Treasure. That movie. I know, but I've heard it's not great. Oh, really? I heard the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you on Letterboxd? <sighs> I have an account. Oh, my but gosh. Like... Follow me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, I've recently gotten into it. Let me know if you want to follow me. I don't know. I just, like, I don't use it, but though. I don't take it seriously. My <laughs> I, I reviewed Ratatouille a couple of weeks ago, and I was, like, made a pot roast, so I know what Remy feels like. Like, I'm not over here, like, some cinephile. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was trying, like, I was trying to do it every time I saw a new movie for my sister's boyfriend, because he's on there, but oh. I don't know. It's just a lot of work. And you watch a lot of movies. I watch a lot of movies. Yeah. Yeah. And I, like, I don't know. I don't always know how I feel about them right mm-hmm. after. Mm-hmm. I need, like, a day or two to process, and then yeah. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I don't remember. It's not even on my mind. Yeah. So. I don't love that you can't look up people you can't look like you people. can't share your contacts how would i f- oh oh like you just have to know their username yeah which i'm like why i mean that's a good it's good for privacy i'm pretty pro that it, it is but like it's movies <laughs> chill out <laughs> yeah. like what are you okay yeah if you don't want people to see your review don't watch it mm. or just don't review it no one's fair. gonna be like i know you actually watched that why didn't you review yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. what's your uh, letterbox Oh, uh, EC e. Gates, probably? Probably. probably. Okay. I don't I'll, know. I'll Put it in the show you. notes. I'll just search EC Gates and look for someone who's reviewed Ratatouille recently. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. My username is M E M. Oh, okay. Easy Perfect. enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what mine is. Probably yeah. DJB242. Okay. That's what mine usually is. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, did you get back into Beatstar? 
No, did you? I stopped. I did see someone the other day playing what looked like like an intense version of Beat Star. Oh wow! Like two handed. There were like swipes across the screen. No, that's the new Beat Star. Oh, they updated it. Yeah, when I played it when I had COVID, all of a sudden you like have to hold it and like oh do the frets type stuff, and oh. I was like, what's going on here? Okay, I thought yeah. about like asking. It was just some kid <laughs> I saw him, and I was like, mm, that looks fun. <laughs> what you playing? Thought about asking him, but maybe I'll just get back into Beat Star. Yeah, yeah, it's intense, but again, remember all the ads. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. about the ads. Can you like buy it and get I'm sure rid of the you ads? can. Just like make a purchase and get rid of the ads. True. You know what game I've been playing recently Don't when me. I'm bored? Bloons. Oh, Bloons. Remember Bloons? The original? Yeah. Dude. On the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Graphics aren't great. Sure. Lags a lot. I'm betting. But it was good. Where do you find it? Um, miniclip.com. Miniclip still exists. <laughs> or Ninja Kiwi. <laughs> amazing yeah yeah so i don't play it often but sometimes i'm like let's just play some balloons yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or even more balloons i or feel balloons. that there was a website i used to play called dead well oh dead well games uh-huh. something like that okay and there was a game where like you shot you know like the bubble shooters where you mm. shoot the bubbles and it pops but it was on like a spin wheel oh yeah i used to love that that game. was fun yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Maybe I should go see if that still exists. You should. I've still just been playing a lot of like Ticket to Ride on oh, same. PGA. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah so I saw fun. you on there today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I haven't played in a minute. I like so fun. I should just invite you to like a turn-based game. I was like, oh, I don't have time to challenge her to like a, oh, a yeah. real-time game. So, yeah. yeah. I hate the real-time games. Yeah. Because you're like, come on. Come on, yeah. Get going. What, what's taking you so long? Yeah. 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 If you're on Board Game Arena... <laughs> Come ready to play. Like, what's going on here? Um, should we give a little bit of a teaser of what yeah, to expect guys, this year? A lot. We've already talked about this, but just to give you like a, a like a a real what's coming this year. Mm-hmm. What's coming in the year of the taco? Mm-hmm. Number one, show's going to be weekly again. Yeah, which I think means that there will be like built-in breaks, but they will be announced. Yes, because that gets exhausting. Yeah. That being said, there will be weekly shows mm-hmm. released Tuesday morning. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing, we have two new segments, Yeah, recurring segments. One is the debate, which mm-hmm. we've already said. The other is, dang, we should have... pull up the calendar. We built a calendar, you guys. We're going to have more guests. Yep. We're going to have more advice because that's the time that's, we get the most. Oh, so it's not a new, we're doing, we're doing advice, advice more often and we're doing guests more often mm-hmm. and then we're going to do debates. Mm-hmm. So what should we debate? Like we said, next week we're going to be debating what's a taco. Yeah. Um, so we don't want to do serious debates. These no. need to be fun debates that yeah. will save our friendship. We'll, we'll put. You can always comment on the pod page and on Spotify, but we'll also put it on the Instagram. Yeah. What do you want us to debate? Yep. Who should we have on? Yep. Realistically. Yep. I think the other thing we want to do more often is conspiracies. Yes. So what uh, conspiracies would you like us to delve into? Yeah. And then, are there any other... Do you have ideas for what we should be doing yeah. as recurring segments on here? We'd and by segments, that. I mean, like, that'll be the whole episode. Yeah. It's a debate. Yeah. Yeah. Because especially with weekly, they'll probably be closer to shorter. 35 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. minutes, but... Yeah. We're excited. We're super excited. We'll have a taco kickoff party. Yeah. February sometime. Yeah. And mm-hmm. at some point, we'll have to get a head count of that, but... Yeah. We'll make an event right, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. So, uh, but welcome back. Happy 2024. Eat your tacos. Yeah. Listen, tell your friends. We're trying to get more listeners this year. Yeah, guys, this is not only the year of the taco, it's the year of the listener. It's the year of the listener. And I'm not promising, but if you, uh, like an MLM, if you bring the most people into our yeah, yeah, stream, yeah. Mm-hmm. you might win listener of the year. Yeah, yeah. It, the more people you bring in, the more money you make. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get in on the ground level. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to get in while the kitten is hot. going yeah yeah, yeah yeah put your money where the taco is put your mouth where the tacos are yeah <laughs> perfect perfect okay that's it that's it okay love you guys bye, bye.